Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. See, today from DC jack to charging IC, the component level, how it looks in a motherboard that we can see. Okay. See, the motherboard is GS440 and GS540 MNC, NMC511 uh, 2019-528. This is Lenovo IdeaPad series. This is the latest one, latest gen one. It's a MD series. Okay. So now just I will show you for beginners actually, especially this video is for beginners, uh, how to identify the components on the motherboard. The main thing is DC jack. Usually the DC jack will contains PSIDR, uh, adapter IDR, ADID, whatever it may be. But this one is connected or not that I will, I'm going to explain you. See. Here is the one pin and the other one is and here also one more and here also one more. Total 4 plus 1, total 5 pins are there. Actually the DC jack is connected to the ground. See pin number 1 and 2 and here it's a 3 and 4. Not exactly the pin number I'm telling. Total pins 1, 2, 3, 4. Total 4 pins are connected to the ground and only one pin is the positive pin. So it means there is no PSID logic here. Hmm? So now the positive, where it will go? It will go to the fuse. See the fuse, fuse means it's not connected to each other. Always uh, the fuse will be not common one. See, I'm checking the connectivity of this. So there is no connectivity. Oh, it got. Hmm? Yes, it got. But some fuse does not have this conductivity because here if there is the, there is any short in this side, it will disconnect this one, especially in Lenovo ThinkPad series, you will get this kind of uh, fuse. Okay, this is a fuse. Fuse will be two types. One is always it will conduct once more what it will come directly it will burn or uh, something will happen disconnect the track will disconnect see here the track inside it will, uh, it's showing here see in these conditions so connectivity always will be there but in some cases in some fuses if any short will occur here then there will be no connectivity between these two okay now connectivity is there but in that case no connectivity will be there, will be there. that also different fuse okay please keep it in your mind hmm? so now the voltage came here and it will pass through this fuse what is that pf101 next these two capacitors it is very very important point this one only make the motherboard get short because the main voltage is coming to this capacitor if any ac unwanted noise comes now that time it will filter to ground okay this one is bypass capacitors so next it came here right so it will filter and pure dc will come here and this one is at at in the sense there will be no component so it's supposed to be there the coil coil i think so the coil supposed to be there yes pl101 this one is pl102 pl102 is present so here something happened mm, i have doubt but anyway let it be so now it's a pj101 this also not there it means at symbol will be there in the schematic so here same thing two capacitors are there after this coil voltage so any noise will generate that one will filter here next where it will go see it's going to this mosfet what is that it's a first mosfet we can consider it as a first mosfet see here it has come and this track is filled see completely filled it is connected to this capacitor this track see is it true yes it's true here and here it's connected this one is see in the mosfet mosfet has eight legs right four plus four one thing i'll tell you in case uh, for beginners okay four pins are connected to each other then it's a drain okay here three pins are connected to each other one is separate then the separated one is gate and this one is source so now the first mosfet once you get the appropriate gate then it will pass from year to year right so once you get the gate from year to year it will pass hmm? now this one is p channel or n channel some confusion will be there so don't be confused 
here number will be there using this number you need to check online hmm? once you get the data sheet you come to know it's a p channel or n channel and other methods also are there but i will explain you in other videos not this videos hmm? here components level connectivity i am going to show that's why see here it's a what is that here the output came the output is connected to other mosfet see what mosfet it is this also n channel mosfet this also n channel mosfet but once you check the uh, schematic then only you come to know so now here is the source and here is the gate see this capacitor is not connected to the ground one side is connected to the supply source supply and other one is gate supply okay so it means the direct drive voltage are given here okay anyway once appropriate gate voltage will come then this source will come to this train hmm? here you need to check the short in case 19 volt short is there then these two you need to check in case this one is short then you come to know then you can replace it and you can check it okay anyway 19 will pass through this second mosfet to where here yeah, actually it's a pq202 and this one is pq201 and here is a jumper which one here is a jumper this one is the at component this one component supposed to be there but here it's not given here also same thing hmm? here is the supply see the jumper is supposed to be like this this is the open condition and this one is closed condition closed jumper once you connect this close uh, section then the supply will pass from here to here hmm? through this jumper so now this is clr clr has only 0 0.01 ohm yes 0 0.01 ohms so here something has connected here it's a 4.7 ohms where it has connected that later i will tell you now the voltage will come to clr from this CLR almost 19 section it will pass so before that I wanted to discuss charging IC section so here how charging IC will work see the one section pin number one this is a positive side positive why I told it is a positive adapter current will come through this side and this side see current I am telling current in the sense one circuit is completed then only current will pass otherwise voltage will pass once voltage and current will come to this CLR then the charging IC pin number one that is uh, ACP okay ACP that one will consider it's a charger has connected if it is a present if voltage and current will come here then charger connected next it will pass here some voltage drop will occur okay this one is called ACN this one is ACP and this one is ACN pin number 2 of the charging IC will connected and through this charging IC means this CLR the current and voltage information the charging IC will take hmm? if this resistor is more than uh, more uh, more than uh, it's a 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 like that so 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 should be there if 0 0.05 or more than that it won't consider the voltage won't pass to the motherboard you can see the voltage but motherboard won't get on this point you have to note it okay so this is very very important point so please note down instead of uh, 0 0.10 if you put a 0 0.50 or some other uh, uh, resistors the motherboard won't get turned on hmm? now the section is charging we will check the charging section yes here it is bq24780 yes hmm? nowadays what are the motherboard you take almost all this ic only you are able to see maximum number i'm telling hmm? so what it connect just component list i'll tell so what it connects see now Mm, I'll check the schematic ones. What are the pin numbers? In this. See, the thing is always BQ series. Multiple videos I already made in my channel. You can see that. See, these are the common one. See, here is the three <coughs> capacitors, and also here also three capacitors. It means here it's a any one CLR has connected to pin number one and two. See, pin number one and two always will connect first source uh, CLR. Hmm? See, here is the pin number one and pin number two. Means it's a 
ACN and here is the ACP and here also two three are there right so this one is positive side and this one is negative side so it means SRN and SRP SRP and SRN in battery section if it comes it will call as SRP and SRN so it means it's a four pins got over right so here it's a one side and the other one here this capacitor this particular capacitor will connect it to other see uh, pin number here it's a positive and negative side it will be connected but it should not connect it to the ground it should not be connected to the ground please keep it in our mind these two are filter capacitors it will bypass the unwanted voltages so here is the ground here also ground hmm. so now here is the ACP and AC and pin number one and two over the supply for this the supply for this will come to pin number 28 this is the one see this one is a testing pad has given here it has a uh, capacitor it's a bypass capacitor and here 100 ohms for safety it's a 0 306 capacity hmm? this size size is more and this one is connected to one diode see the diode is the input path input means the source both the source it's a battery source and this one is adapter source both are connected here and the output which one is the greater than this two any one out of these two if uh, any one is greater that voltage you will get it here this is the diode the maximum voltage output in case of you connected the adapter the adapter voltage you will get otherwise battery voltage you will get if both are connected the maximum one is adapter one adapter voltage you will get see here from here to the supply pin number 28 then what are the components are connected here one and two over three three usually cmsrc will be there the two mosfet uh, source will be there now that point will be connected to pin number three through this register actually this is a code actually if you check in standard you will get it's a 4.7 kilo ohms register both are same see and here if both are same means it's one is uh, pin number three always cmsrc and next ac drive this one the source of uh, sorry the gate voltage of uh, those uh, both channels sorry both mosfets that drive the voltage will pass from this connectors only hmm? ac drive pin number four from here the pin uh, the first and second mosfet gate voltage it will pass from this one okay now it's a five five in the sense ac okay see previously we were checking the divider voltages were here only here nearby but nowadays it's a jumper will be there actually zero ohms register that zero ohms register if it is not there then they will continue this one and this is the indication of zero ohms register you can cut this part and you can check is your case good or not hmm? so after that you can put a zero ohms register okay ac okay over next point is pin number six pin number six is always ac detect ac detect should have voltage divider because the ac one side is source will be connected here okay it's a pin number sorry this one is r1 and here it's a ground you see is a capacitor has given this one is r2 it means voltage divider will be there according to the voltage divider the voltage will pass here and it will check the adapter is connected or not okay next ac detect over uh, according to this this ac okay will work high or low it will connect it to the io usually hmm? okay next voltage divider is over then this point this point is connected to this actually this is the point yes we, we i got so this one is same and here is the what is that jumper jumper in the sense zero ohms register and after that capacitor is given next one is pin number eight pin number eight is i charge see it's open means you need to consider according to the schematic it's open it means it's a discharge one hmm? so like this uh, like this you need to identify 
see next one is connected to this two path this two path in the sense it's a capacitor and here is the resistor so here is the jumper actually it's a testing point here is the jumper through that jumper it has connected to here and here see one more is testing point and it's a jumper i mean zero ohms resistor here also zero ohms resistor here also zero ohms resistor and these two are not connected at all hmm? and next it will come here and it will go some other places it means it will go some path will be there okay here one resistor is connected and here from other path the source or anything will be connected from uh, output or from input okay see it will go or it will come the source here 100 ohms resistor is there here also same thing the point if it is there then it is connected to some other places in the motherboard so this also work this also same thing it will be connected it further the track will be there and here see that uh, srn and srp i told you know that is the path here and next this one is not connected here at present so this one it will go further so it will uh, this also will go and this one is capacitor one side is a ground and the other side it has connected and here is a 2.2 resistor 2.2 resistor and here is the capacitor and here the source already explained you so this is a simple logic simple method a simple identification of the component how to identify and from where to where it will go from dc jack to charging ic in depth in uh, what is that uh, schematic uh, i will explain no in that time i will explain the working function of this particular charger just what are the uh, what is that uh, components are connected to this pins that i explained hmm? there is no short at all here so it's very clean it's a branded one it's a company uh, a default one actually default solder one no one has touched this one it's a very new one okay it's a pu201 identification number is pu201 hmm? if you want full video of this components and working functions you can join our membership youtube membership then full video you will get it that's it thank you thank you very much